The Microcebus genus is not completely understood, which results in species getting reclassified or separated as more research is conducted. The 24 species of Microcebus have only recently diverged from one another due to habitat fragmentation and natural barriers. The species are closely related and share many of the same physical characteristics, however they are genetically diverse. Prosimians are the most primitive of the primates, and like all lemurs, mouse lemurs are endemic to Madagascar. There are 24 known species of mouse lemurs. These maps represent the distribution range of just a few species. The GURPS mouse lemur only occupies the Sahafina forest and surrounding secondary forest, which is recovering from extensive logging. Gray-brown mouse lemurs are found within the Toliara province, and first documented in 1858, the pygmy mouse lemur was once thought to be extinct until its rediscovery in the Karindi forest in 1993. Gray mouse lemurs occupy a variety of habitats along the west coast, but a distinct population has been recorded in the southeast. The pygmy mouse lemur measures just 2.2 inches from head to body, and their tails are 5.4 inches on average. Pygmy mouse lemurs weigh 1.1 ounces, or just about as much as a AA battery. Gray mouse lemurs, on the other hand, are the largest of the mouse lemurs, measuring 4.72 inches to 5.5 inches head to body, with their tails adding an additional 5.5 to 5.9 inches. They weigh between 1.4 and 2.5 ounces, depending on the season. Mouse lemurs are arboreal and occupy lowland forests, rainforests, secondary forests, spiny desert regions, gallery forests, wetlands, mangrove forests, and dry deciduous forests. Daily activity levels and body index, index markers fluctuate greatly throughout the year due to the seasonality of the environment. Mouse lemurs are typically omnivores who take advantage of a variety of food sources in their environments, including insects, fruits, flowers, leaves, gum, nectar, and small vertebrates. Mouse lemurs are nocturnal, solitary foragers, but they return to sleep sites where they rest in groups of up to 15 individuals, usually comprising of females and their dependent offspring. Torpor is a sleep-like state in which the body decreases physiological activity, much like hibernation. In some species of mouse lemur, females will enter torpor during the dry season when resources are scarce. Females will remain dormant inside tree holes for several months. During this time, males will compete to establish a breeding hierarchy. Mouse lemurs have an important relationship with baobab trees because they are one of the two main species which pollinate the trees. Mouse lemurs will take shelter within the trees during their torpor season, and when they emerge, they feast on the nectar from the tree's flowers, which scatters the pollen, promoting pollination. Mouse lemurs in a variety of environments across Madagascar contribute to the biodiversity of the region by spreading seeds and pollen. Unlike other species of primates, most mouse lemurs develop quickly. Females' gestation period lasts on average only 55 to 60 days. All mothering is practiced in groups, and females may even nurse babies that are not their own. Mouse lemurs are weaned at one month old and fully independent by two months, and reach sexual maturity by six months. Mouse lemurs communicate through vocalizations that sound like trills and whistles. The calls communicate warnings of predators, mating calls, dominance over territory, and trills for their morning reunion at the sleep site. Some species of mouse lemurs are even capable of making ultrasonic calls, which cannot be heard by humans without the proper equipment. Mouse lemurs are nocturnal. During the day, they rest out of sight while their predators hunt. They also avoid competition with other small mammals by foraging at night. Mouse lemurs are hunted by a number of predators due to their size. Birds of prey, snakes, and the fossa successfully hunt mouse lemurs in their forest environment. Habitat loss due to slash and burn agriculture, cattle grazing, and logging drive the destruction of crucial environments. Additionally, many species of mouse lemurs are captured for medical purposes or for the exotic pet trade. The conservation status of mouse lemurs as a whole are considered endangered, but the status varies greatly between the subspecies. The GURPS mouse lemurs are critically endangered and are of the 25 most endangered primates on Earth. Pygmy mouse lemurs are considered vulnerable because the species is thought to have declined by over 30% in the last 15 years, largely due to habitat loss. The gray-brown mouse lemurs have a widespread, steady population and are classified as least concern. Conservation efforts across Madagascar work with local communities and larger governmental bodies in order to protect the unique species and habitats that characterize the nation. The Youth for Lemurs Project is a community-based conservation project that aims to train and educate teenagers to be the new generation of farmers without destroying the forest. The educational training enables people to farm the same plot each season, which eliminates the need to move into the forest.